All right. What are we going to start with? So we'll start at the beginning. So we'll, <laughs> we'll start with. Um, the start What's up, camera? Whoa. <laughs> you either tell the real story as it was in an authentic way, or you take it somewhere new. We thought a lot about classic sneaker constructions. Generally, it's always been like one piece, one soul. Just wanted to challenge the norm, we wanted to challenge the obvious. We felt like, okay, this project is different, we need a different approach. We didn't know exactly what we are looking for. We went back to the archive. Searching out the unusual or the forgotten, thousands of boxes. Another level of things that you've never seen before. And we found the cushion too. From 94, 95, it was based on flexibility, natural motion, torsion ability. Yeah, the time it was very, very groundbreaking. It was very light. -like. Can't see the shoe? No, you can. No? Let's check it. We read through the product story and suddenly everything made sense. Reimagining is very important to look at your past for inspiration, but never hold it there. Enhance those old ideas. To still have that recognizable element, but make something totally new. <laughs> if I think into the 90s. A time where we came up with tons of shoes. Everything was analog and manual. If I was back then, but I had the potential of today, what would I have done? Take that detail from history now to another level. We really took multiple soles, outsoles, different eras, started to cut them up into jigsaws. So we just started cutting up these things into raw and crazy elements. And then put them together in a different way. Our attempt was more to find the beauty in the unexpected combinations. On the archive shoe, it says point of deflection system. It became quite obvious that the tooling need to be podular. Those three podular parts, the perfect construction. And that's what podular is all about. It's something which is great on its own, but when you put it together, it takes you somewhere else. The journey is a story. It's a gateway to flexibility, into comfort. And it was a natural evolution of the project. It opens a new door, so it gives you a different perspective. We have this great past and we have this amazing future. And POD is really about connecting that past with the future. A good design should have a reason for existence and should be linked to culture. It should fulfill a reason to actually be there. <laughs>